We're asked here to simplify the Boolean expressions to expressions containing a minimum number of literals. So we're going to start off with A, and we'll do A over here. For A, we are dealing with not A, not C, plus a not A, B, C, plus a not B, C. Well, all of these look pretty similar, and we can manipulate them. However, this not B, C that we would have to either manipulate later if we simplified this how it is now, or what we can do is just take our not BC and manipulate it first. So we're going to look at this not BC and we are going to go over here. We know that not BC is equal to a not BC, but what we don't know yet is if we can add a not ABC. So we don't know if this is possible to add yet. Because if we were to add something, well, we could only add zero for this to be legal. We have to find if not AB times C is legal or not. Well, we can see here that we can factor out this BC with this BC here. So let's do that. We are going to have a not BC equal to a not BC. And then in here we're going to have a one plus our not A. And then in here, well, we can f uh, get rid of the not BCs on both sides. And then in doing this, we're going to get 1 is equal to 1 plus not A. So that will go there. And then from here, we're going to see that our not A is equal to 0. So if we were to go back through these steps, we could plug in this 0 to this not A here. And then when we factor this in, we can see that not a b c is equal to zero so we're okay to add it in here what that means is that we're going to go back to our original problem except we are going to be replacing the not b c with a not b c plus a not a b c so we'll go in here we have our not a c we have the plus not a times b c plus the not BC plus our not AB times C. So looking at this now, we can look at this big part and look at this part, big part, very similar. So we're going to rewrite this again. We're going to have our not AC plus our not B times C plus, and now looking at these two, well, we can factor out our not A and we can factor out our C and so in here, we are going to have a B plus a not B. And per um, basic formulas, we know that a B plus a not B is just one. So we're left with a not a C here. And now we can do the same thing with this not a not C, where we factor out the not a, and then inside of here we have a not C plus a C and then obviously plus our not BC for this right here. And then this is going to be a one as well. So this means for part A, we are going to have a not A plus a not B times C. And that is going to be the answer for part A. Now for part B, we're going to be dealing with factoring. And we'll do that over here. So we need to factor this not A, B, C into all of these knots right here. So if we do this, we are going to have a not A, a not A, not B, and not C. So it's going to look like this. We are then going to have a plus A, B, B, C, all under a not, plus an A, B, C, C, all under a not. So looking again at our basic formulas, we know that an A times an A is just equal to an A, and then a B times a B is just equal to a B, and then a C times a C is just equal to a C. So rewriting this, we are going to have a not ABC plus a not ABC plus a not ABC. And then if we add all of these together, because they are the same, and only because they're the same, this is going to give us a not ABC. That is the answer 
for part B. And now we are going to look at part C. And for part C, what we're going to do here is factor out our A. So we're going to have this A. We have B not C plus C. And now looking at this, one of the other basic rules that we have is to the upper right, we have this A plus not A B. And this is very similar. It's just having some of the things switched around. So this would go on this spot and this would go in this spot. But knowing this, we can rewrite this as A on the outside. And then inside of here, we are going to have our C plus B. And so this is the smallest form for this problem. We could factor in the A if we want, but it's really not necessary. So that is how we would solve for part C. Now for part D, we'll go over here. And this one's a little bit bigger. For part D, what we're going to do is factor out the D. And we're left with a not AB inside of here. We are going to have a plus not AC plus B. And well, from here, what we can do is take our not AB and this B. And we are going to deal with it the same kind of way we did right here. And I'll rewrite this just so we can look at it a little bit easier. We're going to have this D. And in parentheses, we're going to have our, let's say, B, A, same thing, just different order, plus B. And then in here, we also have a plus R A times C. So that is how we would write that. And if we look at the formula that we're given, the only difference for this is that we have a not above our A right here. So when we rewrite this, the only difference is that our answer is going to have a not A. So we're going to have a B plus our not A. And then we're going to have a plus A not C. So this is what we are going to get. Well, let's uh, actually this should be A not C. So not over both of them. And let's factor out the A not for this part right here. We're going to have a D. We have a B, we then have a plus A naught, and then in parentheses we have a 1 plus R C naught. And we know that C naught is 0. And we know this because, well, we've proven that A naught is 0 right here. So we'll just plug 0 into here. And then if we do this, we are going to get that R D is going to be multiplied by the parentheses plus. Um, or parenthesis B plus R A naught. And that is going to be the answer for part D. So we'd solve that. And now we are going to look at part E. And we'll go a little bit lower for this. For part E, we have all of these being multiplied together. So let's multiply them together. We have an A times an A plus an A times a C plus an A times a b plus a b times a c. This is in parentheses because we still need to multiply it by a not b times c. Multiplying this in, we are going to get triple a b not c. We are going to have a plus a times a times b not times c c plus our a times a times b times b not times c plus the A times the B times the B naught times the C times the C. So knowing this from here, we can look at our A's and we are going to combine them together. We know that two A's combined make an A. And so this will just be an A. And then let's bring this A down here. So this is just going to be an A. The same thing is going to happen for this A. It's just going to become an A. Same thing is going to happen for this A. It's going to become an A. And for this C, we're going to have a C. And for this C, we are going to have a C. Now, when we have a B times a B naught, if we look at the equation, we have an A times an A naught. So it's basically the same thing. It's going to give us zero. That means this is going to become zero because of the B B naught, just as like this is going to become zero. So those, both of those are now written as zero. So now we can rewrite this. It's a little bit messy. 
So it's going to be an A times a B naught times C plus an A times a B naught times C and the rest is zero. And well, we know if we have two things added together like this, it just equals itself. So this is going to be equal to A times B naught times C. And this is our answer for part E. And that is how you would solve this problem. We have part A to the top right, part B in the middle, part C, and then we have part D kind of over here, also in the middle. And lastly, at the end, we have part E. So that is how you would simplify the following Boolean expressions containing the two expressions containing a minimum number of literals.